Hi, I'm Dave Titus. I'm a storyteller. Anansi is spider to the Ashanti people. Anansi had heard that Nyami, the sky god, had things called stories. And so he went to Nyami, he said, Nyami, may I have some of those things called stories? Oh, said Nyami, stories are very important things. You must be worthy to have stories. And well, I'm worthy, said Anansi. Talk is cheap. You must prove that you're worthy. Well, I could prove I'm worthy. How? Well, if you bring me, if you bring me tiger and snake and hornet, if you bring me those three, that would prove that you're worthy. So Anansi, spider, Anansi went crawling around looking for those creatures. Annie Wilson, a Yupik Eskimo from Alaska, showed me this figure. It's called the fishing spear. Watch before you do anything. Start with position one. And I bring my right index finger over. Stop right there and twist your finger around one, two times. Now come back. And with your left index finger, you're going to come over between these two strings and get your palmer string and bring it back. Then release the string on your right thumb and little finger. Voila, you have a fishing spear. And if you have a fishing spear, of course, what do you do with a fishing spear? You catch fish. I said I'd never seen a fishing spear and Annie said, Oh, well, right here's one, and she pointed up, and, and her husband, George, had made a fishing spear. He carved the points of the spear out of the bones from a caribou's wrist, if caribou have wrist, and had a wooden handle. Here's a picture of that fishing spear. Here's a picture of George. I wonder if the fish he's holding. I wonder how he caught that. Well, let's try that fishing spear again. Position one. Right index finger, one, two times around. Pull it down, left index finger, underneath, between the two. Come back, release the thumb and little finger on your right hand, voila. Then, to make the fish, unwind the spear handle one time and put your thumb up with it. Come over and get the left index string. Release the right one. And snap! Oh, we caught a fish that time. But you know, when they're out in the boat, they look so big. But when you get them closer and closer and closer, they get smaller and smaller and smaller until they're not even big enough to keep. Another figure that you can make using the same motions is a tent that the people of the north use in the summertime. With your right index finger, come over and twist seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get the string down on your finger, and then with your left index finger between those two. And voila, there's a summer tent. And the campfire is inside with, can you see the smoke curling up? Bring your finger, your right finger under, and go seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, and then get it down and bring your left index underneath the palmer string. Let go with your right thumb and little finger and you have a, a tent with a fire inside and smoke. Can you see the smoke going out of the tent? Oh no, it's almost time to go. Before we do though, here are some more figures that I just have to show you.
Thanks for watching. And remember, practice, practice, practice. When you get so that you can make cup and saucer with your eyes closed, or when you can make Jacob's Ladder automatically without thinking, you'll know you're ready to go on to the next thing. Just because you can't do something yet doesn't mean you'll never be able to do it. Practice, practice. If you forget how to make something, watch the video again. That's what books and videos are for. Now you go make your own string magic.